Talk about the best of 2018. We had quite a year here at your Pittsburgh. We had a chance to talk to Smokey Robinson about how he's making wine with some Pittsburghers. Ted Danson told us all about his connection to Carnegie Mellon, but right now we're going to share our conversation with Pirates pitcher Jameson Tayo. Yeah, we're a ways away from baseball season, but as John Shumway found out, Jameson has an important story to tell any time of year. Jameson Tyone is all about comfort. A lifetime of work makes a pitcher's mound his comfort zone. Now, he's a Pittsburgh homeowner. I mean, I'm living a, a dream right now, so why not take it for what it's worth and explore the city and meet new people? But the dream hasn't come easy. Tommy John surgery to repair his pitching arm and then groin surgery delayed his debut at PNC Park. And this is great. Turn it loose. Then, at the beginning of his second year in the bigs, Jamison noticed something wasn't right. It was testicular cancer. It hit me pretty hard, and it took me a while to process it, but I just got over it quickly and focused on the next step. Attacking the steps through his surgery, treatments, and rehab, Jamison found that the people of Pittsburgh embraced him through it all. People actually were praying. For, like I had people come up to me and pray for me in person, like on the spot. Tyone says on the wings of those prayers and through incredible medical care, he returned to the mound only five weeks after surgery. He's Texas tough, as he's proven over and over again by overcoming so many of these physical ailments that he's had, most recently cancer. But Jamo's cancer story doesn't end there. He has made it his mission to raise awareness of testicular cancer. This kind of came into my life and it was like an epiphany that this is it. This is what I was meant to do. He is an emerging leader at every single level. Tyone loves the grit of his chosen profession, facing a batter skill against skill. You can hear 95 mile hour fastballs coming at you in the box. It's loud, it's hissing at you. But that being said, if a hitter hits one back at you and spins your cap a bit, that'll wake you up. Which happened? I wore one. I think it was 105 off the bat, off the back of my head, so not fun. Off-field fun for Tyone comes from a litany of hobbies. Travel. I hit tons of coffee shops. I make a lot of coffee at home. I cook a lot. I golf a lot. I'll fish a good amount. Oh, and he plays the guitar, too. But ladies, before you start swooning, you should know about Claire. Girlfriend of a little over three years. So we met in Houston, and we're going strong. He's also learning and helping the rookies to learn Pittsburghese. Someone says the word down, we're like, what? No, it's down. Going down to PNC Park, see Gregory Polko, Francisco Cervelli down there. Oh, and don't be surprised if you find Jameson and Claire in a local coffee shop, like his favorite, Commonplace Coffee. They'll make a fresh, like, pour over coffee for you on the spot. Now, are you a coffee snob? Yeah. Yeah, if, if you don't say snob with like a negative connotation there, like absolutely, yeah. I found there's just really great stuff out there. Why would I waste my time drinking crappy coffee? So life's too short. And he's got the life experience to know that value oh so well. And Jameson says he doesn't normally get emotional, but when he came back for the first time after battling the cancer, he said it was just a moment for him of great appreciation. And our thanks to John Shumway for that story.